You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. Uh, according to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. Uh, he represents Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers, and we have Dr. Anthony Pilato. Dr. Pilato, welcome to the program. Thank you for, for having me, Randy. It's a now, pleasure. Now, for people that don't know Clear Choice, what is it? Yeah, so we have a unique model. Um, basically, the concept is we have everybody in one place focusing on dental implants. Okay. okay. That's our sole focus. So who's the typical patient, I should say? Exactly. Um, there's not really a typical patient. Um, they come all different walks of life, all different age groups, young, middle-aged, older patients. So people come to you because they do not want dentures. Absolutely. They're trying to avoid it. Exactly. That's correct. Now, another thing I, I had to ask you, because it sounds like an overstatement, but some people on the day of the procedure, uh -huh. the people come in without teeth and they walk out with fixed teeth, full arch of teeth, upper and lower that don't come in and out. That's correct. Is that common? That's like what you do? That's what we do every single day that I'm in my center, actually. Every day, my team brings these people to a full set of fixed teeth and coming in with a denture or going to a denture, yes. Okay, now your model, you have an oral surgeon, two specialists under one roof. Correct. Oral surgeon, prosthodontist, you're the prosthodontist. What is the role of a prosthodontist in, in the Clear Choice Center? Sure, so great question. Um, the prosthodontist is really the architect of the smile. So what I do is every patient that comes in, I meet with them. Um, and this is one of the highlights of my day, actually. I sit down with them. I understand what their needs are, really what brings them in, uh, what they're struggling with, or what the reasons are that they haven't had treatment done prior. Um, and we really, really focus on coming up with a customized treatment plan. So okay. really the role of the prosthodontist is to understand the needs and to find a solution for those needs that is perfect for that person. Um, and then as we go through the process, you can think of the prosthodontist kind of as like the quarterback between the different groups of the center. Okay. okay. So I sit down so with So you them. design the smile. Absolutely. All right. So we sit down, we talk about the color, the shape. We have tons of fun, take photographs um, and, and really get specific. Sometimes someone may want to look like a movie star or look like uh, a prior picture that they, they bring in and, and they, they dream of having that smile back looking like they were 30 again or something like that. So really it's my role to make sure that they get that result. Um, and I'll do anything in my power to do that for them. Now, uh, in Chicago, are there a lot of people wearing dentures or headed to dentures? Tons, okay. So if you look at the statistics, you'll see tens of thousands that will be in a city like ours of Chicago. Uh, to really put that into perspective, we're right by Soldier Field where the Bears play. You could fill the whole stadium easily. Wow with people in dentures. Uh, and, and that's just people in dentures. So we have to take care of those people in the dentures, but also the people that are going to be going to dentures. So the, the real staggering thing to think of is, how about those people that have some missing teeth? You know, they have six or more missing teeth or loose teeth and they're struggling. That is also a huge, huge part of Those this are the problem. people that come to you, right? Exactly. Their teeth are like failing. Yeah. And they know they don't want a denture. So it's a big problem, exactly. Uh, but if it's so good, okay, if so many people, though, in Chicago sure. have, or headed to dentures, are already wearing a denture, Yeah. if dental implants are so good to get the teeth back, why aren't they all doing it? What's your take? Yeah. Uh, this, this is something that I think about often because like I said, I meet with every patient that comes in our office and I, I, want, I hear their stories and I wanna know why haven't we done this sooner? And I think it's really for a variety of reasons. Probably the, the reason I hear the most often is they just didn't know, right? Uh, maybe if they're in a denture, they haven't seen a dentist in a long time. They see a dentist every once in a while to maybe get a reline or a sore spot adjusted and then they're back out into the world. So they're essentially out of the dental system and they're not getting their options. Okay. Okay, so that's a common reason. Um, a second reason, kind of similar, still a denture patient, a denture wearer, um, but this type of patient, you really have to understand what they went through before they got the dentures. All right. Okay, so you may not be aware of this, but a lot of these people, they will be in fillings and have crowns done and partials and they have loose teeth, you know, back and forth to the dentist for 10, 20, 30 years, sometimes even more, and then they finally get the dentures, it's done. You know, they use this word hate. They say, I hate my denture. Yeah. They, they hate the denture, but they hated their teeth even more. 
Okay. So it's hard to get those people in because the last thing they want to do is see you. Is yes. That... So here's the interesting thing though. They do come in. So um, uh, it's rare they come in alone though. They come in with family members. Okay. Uh, I, I could think of a, a time I had a grandparent come in with the granddaughter and the grandparent wanted to smile with the granddaughter in the selfies that she was taking. Okay. Okay. So they want to take photos. They want to have fun. It, the grandparent wasn't there because he wanted to be there or, or, you know, the last person he wants to see is me, but he was there for somebody else. Um, and that same thing happens all the time, whether it be a spouse, a daughter, uh, you know, a son, a loved one of some sort. And, that that's really says a lot about how much this procedure and this whole subject really influences the people around these patients. It's not just them. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a big part of it. The fact that they how had a tough can, life. How old can you be to do this? Sure, that, that's such a good question. I hear it all the time. There's no age limit. Okay, um, I have colleagues that treat patients with dental implants over 100 years old. Really? What's all, your oldest all patient? The time. Uh, 86, I believe, right 86? now. And why would an 86 year old want to do this? Yeah, so they want to do it for the same reason you and I want to have fixed teeth, right? Okay. We don't, we don't think Fair. about it, but we want to smile. You know, they want to smile. They have a self esteem, right? They want to chew, they want to eat, they want to go to a restaurant and they want to look at the menu and order anything off of that menu. They don't want to order off the kids' menu, they don't want restrictions. They really want to enjoy so their So what do they life. like more? Do they like more that they can eat and chew whatever they want? Or do they like the way it looks? Or is yeah. it a mix? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a mix. So everybody's different on this one. Some people will come in and, and they, they may not even know exactly what they want. And this will be the moment in the middle of a consult where we'll be talking and they say, I just want function. And sometimes I'll just stop. Just want to be able to eat. Exactly. Okay. And, and they, may, they may not even say eat. They may just say function. And I'll stop and I'll, I'll kind of smile and I'll say, you know, I'm so excited for you. Right? And yeah, this is true. Yeah. I'm so excited for you because I know what is going to happen here. I know what is going to be at the end of this. And I'm thinking of a specific person right now. Um, he's a Chicago police officer. And he comes in and he's got his badge on his hip. And he has his gun. And he, he's shifting around, not smiling. I say, what, what can this do for you? Because again, I want to understand their needs. I want to help them. I want all right, to, all right. Right? So he, he says, I want function. And he's moving his gun. He's shifting, really tough, firm guy. And, and he has to be for his job. But you know, I was seeing that he was holding back a little bit. And again, I say, OK, we're going to do that for you. We're going to give you that. And you're going to be surprised how much more you get to. Um, this is the patient that at the end of that day, that day when he gets his fixed teeth, all yeah. in one day, yeah. he's sitting there with the mirror and this guy's like a teddy bear. No more strong man, no more <laughs> tough guy. He's a teddy bear, smiling. You can't get the smile off of his face. So these are the types of stories. And to your question, do they want function? Do they want that smile? They want both. Sometimes they can't express exactly what they want, but that's what they want. They want that, that quality of life back, that enjoyment, that engagement with the moment. Good. That's what they're looking for. Okay, good. Now you brought photos. What are we looking at? Yes. So I've got some, some really special patients that I want to share here. All right. Uh, well, why don't we do this? We're going to take a quick break. We okay. come back. We'll go through those photos. Just give me one second. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. My dental problems started as a child. I had a lot of cavities, root canals. Eating anything cold, it would hurt so bad. With dentures, they never fit properly. My confidence was really down. Always covering my face when I laughed. So I went in for a free consultation with Clear Choice. People come in with bad teeth or no teeth, and in one day, leave with the smile that they are looking for. The Clear Choice One Day Approach is making dental implants a reality for people all over the country who suffer from missing or failing teeth. They put these beautiful teeth in my mouth and I can eat ice cream, I can eat corn on the cob now. With over 30,000 new smiles across our network, we're lifting spirits and confidence all over America. Schedule your free consultation today. We'll even talk about financing options. I've never felt better than I do right now it's the best thing I've ever done in my life for myself. Everybody tells me, you look 10 years younger. Thank you, Clear Choice. Call Clear Choice today. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. My, my first guest says, 
nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. We're talking about getting your teeth back with dental implants. Uh, with us, we have Dr. Plato. Okay, Dr. Thank Plato, you. your photos, you brought some photos. Yes, so I'm very excited to show these. So, so this is really what you see all the time every in day, your practice? I'm, every day I'm in my practice, okay. yes, okay. absolutely. So this patient, he comes to us, he had a denture, he just couldn't wear it, okay? So before the time with the denture, he struggled with his teeth, went through different things, eventually goes to the denture, thinks it's all over, can't wear it, it hurts his gums, it's, it's just- So no denture, he just didn't wear a den nothing? Nothing. Really? Okay. Nothing, so he is uh, it's the sincerest guy that you can find. Uh, great sense of humor, just really lights up a room. He's feeling that he can't portray that image anymore. Okay, his friends, they're noticing a difference. Uh, he, he can't interact with people the way that he used to. So he comes to us, he's looking for a solution. He's looking for fixed teeth. He knows a denture doesn't work for him, like okay. so many of our patients. And he says some really specific things. He wants to eat a steak cooked just right. Okay. Okay, specifically just right. <laughs> he wants to eat nuts again. He wants to kick back with his friends, enjoy a beer, and tell some jokes, make them laugh. Right? He wants to do what we all want to do. Yeah. But he can't do it. And he knows that he needs a solution. He knows he needs help. Um, so let me show you this. He comes in, and in the one day procedure, we go ahead and we get him an amazing set of teeth. Wow. A and look at those pictures. Um, yes, you notice the teeth. They are so customized to him, exactly what he's looking for, exactly natural. Yeah, they do look real. Gotta yeah. admit that. Yeah. And, and look at his face. I mean, he's, he's just He looks happier. younger. He looks younger, too. He looks younger. He's happier. Uh, he's able to enjoy his life. He's able to eat that steak just how he wants it, which I found out later was medium rare. Okay. Uh, he's able to eat nuts again. He's able to, to hang out with his friends. He's re-engaged. He has a, a, a new outlook on life. Uh, so, you know, it's about the teeth, but it's really about what the teeth can do for that person. And, and this is what we're doing every day. So you look at these two photos. It, first of all, the first one with no teeth in, that's a strained smile. He, he, he doesn't smile. Okay. All right? He just walks around with a pout on his face. Probably looking like a tough guy or something. And that's what's going on here. He's not unhappy. Um, it, it, it's just that he can't smile. So in the after photo, you can see now he can smile. He looks younger. He looks healthier. Yeah, yeah. Right? He looks healthier. His eyes are different. It's just the way we portray how we feel to the world. And in those two pictures, you can see the difference. Do they come in skeptical? Because I, you know, I know they see some of your advertising, but do they ever come in and say, are you sure yeah, I can do this? They do sometimes. Um, it's interesting though, the word is really out about what we do. So I see it less, but for some patients they come in and, and they just think this is, it's too good to be true. This is what I've always wanted. There's, there's <laughs> no way that this is gonna happen in, in one day. Or, you know, they self-diagnose, I don't have enough bone. I'm too old, I'm not healthy But enough. isn't it true? I mean, if you've been wearing a denture like 20 years, you don't have enough bone to do this. That's absolutely not true. Uh, okay. That's definitely not true. So we hear that daily though, okay? Patients come in, we take the CT scan. I sit down with them. And in that three-dimensional image, we draw out where we're gonna put those implants. So, I mean, we place them on the computer before we even do it in the mouth. So they see, they understand, and when they see it that way, they say, that makes sense. You know, I have engineers that come in and they say, I don't have enough bone. And then we do the, the, the plan on the computer. They say, why didn't someone think of that sooner? I get it. Um, what's also interesting too is patients go through the process and then they say, had I known that I could have done that sooner, I would have done that years ago. So I want to show you another patient here. What is the first thing you see when you look at that photo? Well, she's not smiling. She looks unhappy. All right. She's not smiling. Yeah, she, she actually looks angry in that photo. And, and this is a person who is one of the kindest people I have ever met. She's actually works in healthcare. So what was going on under there? Exactly. She so, had a denture or just bad teeth? The bad teeth. And not only that, but she has tried so hard to keep those teeth. Okay, most people get a cleaning maybe every six months. That's kind of regular. She would go every three months because people in her family actually had a denture and she was doing everything she could to not go to a denture, okay. right? She works in healthcare. She's constantly reminded of how this impacts her overall health, how the food choices influence her, her digestion and things like that. She was so set on not going to a denture that she was trying, trying, trying. She comes to us, she says, what can I do? How can you help me? Okay, 
I'm just going to skip to the after because right, it's, okay. it's amazing. Wow, doesn't even look like the same person. That's beautiful. Smile. No, this is, this is amazing. This is a testament to how much a smile can change the message that we send, right? What do you mean by that? Okay, so a smile, a smile is really everything that we're feeling. It's what we're presenting to the person in front of us. It's how we're experiencing this moment that we're sitting in right now. So the smile, the smile will either send a message that I'm, I'm approachable, I'm friendly, I'm intelligent, I, I, I take care of myself. Good point. Or just the opposite sometimes. And the, the, the real sad thing is it's not always true, right? This is a perfect example. This person was trying so hard to take care of her teeth it wasn't that she was neglecting anything. It's just what was happening, okay? So through this smile, she's able to send a totally different message. So this is such a special picture because I want you to look specifically at her smile. All okay? right. It's not a generic smile. We, we don't design or we don't give a patient a smile that's the same as someone else, right? That matches exactly her expression. You know, it's a feminine smile. Yeah, the teeth kind of follow that lower lip. Like perfectly. That's all by design. Absolutely. Um, not only do they follow the lip, they support the lip. Okay. The lip is kind of like the frame to the picture. The teeth are the picture. Um, they're feminine. The length of them, everything about that smile, but even the color. She must be showing that off all over the place. Couldn't stop. Like when she looks at the mirror for the first time, what's that like? Or something like this. Yeah. Um, it's not uncommon that we have tears, you know, um, it, amongst our team as well. It's such an impact that, that, that we're making on the patient and that they make on us actually at the same time. Um, one, of, one of my favorite stories is I knew when we had an amazing result, I heard a patient yell out, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> good, <laughs> He good. just screamed it and he couldn't stop saying it. And, and mind you, this is at the end of a day where he has had this work done and he's just looking in that mirror, couldn't let it go, couldn't stop saying, that's what I'm talking about. That's nice. Yeah, so... Now, now, let me ask you this. Now, what about the people with bad gums, like bleeding gums, the loose teeth, like gum disease? Sure. Can they do this? Absolutely. No? Really? Absolutely. But yes. aren't their gums too bad to support the implants? Not at all. So we hear this all the time, too. Patients will come in, they say, oh, doc, my dentist said I have periodontal disease and I have no bone left around my teeth. Well, that might be true around the teeth, but because of the procedures we can do, we use the 3D imaging, we find areas where they do have good bone, and that's typically in areas different than where the teeth were. So the gums get cleaned up? Absolutely, so the, the teeth, the bad teeth are the source of the problems that they have. And by removing those teeth, everything gets cleaned up. Not only do they feel better, they don't have these infections that have been in their mouth for years and years, they start feeling like, like they've got an, a new sense of energy, a new sense of purpose when you combine the health aspect with the smile that they now have. We're going to take another quick break, uh, and I know you have more photos, so we'll try to get as many in as, as possible. You're watching The Wellness Hour. We'll be right back. One day, I'm chewing a piece of hard candy, and my two front teeth snapped off. My teeth were so messed up. I work in a casino. When I would laugh or engage with the players, I did it like this a lot. It's because I was embarrassed of my teeth. I don't think dentures were ever a solution. The only option for me was clear choice. David was due for a complete reconstruction. Because we have the surgeon and the prosthodontist and the lab in one facility working together as a team, we can perform this procedure in one day. The Clear Choice One Day Approach is making dental implants a reality for people all over the country who suffer from missing or failing teeth. The whole procedure was done in the same day, had a beautiful smile. Schedule your free consultation today. We'll even talk about financing options. If I don't get at least five or six compliments a day at work, it wouldn't be normal. You know, wow, those teeth, they're gorgeous. It's all because of Clear Choice. Call Clear Choice today. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Avers. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. And according to my first guest, Dr. Pilato, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. Dr. Pilato, welcome back. You, you have more photos. And these are all people, I guess, that were either going to get dentures or they were already wearing a denture and now they want permanent teeth that don't come in and out. That's correct. And these are permanent teeth. That's correct. Okay. Yes. And, and this is a little bit of a unique situation, which I'm, I'm really excited to share. So this patient comes to us and she actually comes with her daughter. They had been all over. Nobody can help them. So the daughter brings this patient to us and Laura, the daughter says, we need help. My mother, she's done everything for us. She was a refugee to this country. Okay, she has raised this family in such a way that I will do anything to help my mom. 
So she comes in, the mother had suffered from a fall in 2013. She actually was on a feeding tube for a year. She went down to 67 pounds, okay? She needed to get her teeth fixed. She was in pain from those teeth. We look at everything, we look at our images, we speak with the patient. Our team puts a plan together to be able to help her. I'm just gonna show you this photo now. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is where she is at after her process. So she comes in, she is able to have those teeth that are painful removed and replaced with a beautiful set of fixed teeth that are natural and most importantly, allow her to go through her day feeling comfortable. She's out of pain now. She started putting weight back on. So this has affected her from a health standpoint in so many ways. And they just brush them like regular teeth. Just like regular teeth. Um, the daughter, Laura, wrote me an email later okay. explaining, and I didn't know this ahead of time, that her mom used to travel to California once a year to see the family. She hadn't been able to do it in years and years and years because of what was going on with her health. This year, she was able to go see her grandchildren in California because she had the energy to go ahead and do that, to, to function. And even in the letter there, it says she enjoyed great food. She gained some weight. She had a wonderful time and a whole bunch of pictures attached yeah, to her nice. family. And Laura, the daughter, asks us, tell your team thank you. Tell them that they have changed our family's life. So, Very nice. Uh, you, you can't beat that. Now we have time, probably two more minutes left. Okay. So we have time for a couple more photos. Okay. So this patient comes in, has a bunch of teeth left, periodontal disease, getting food stuck between his teeth. He travels a lot for work. He can't have a good meal without excusing himself to the washroom to, to clean out his teeth. His options, a denture, no way. He's a professional man. He needs to be meeting with people. Okay. He's going to job sites. He's going to dinners. Denture's not in his future. He knows it. There's a picture of him. <laughs> he sends that. He was traveling in, in South America, and he sends us a photo shortly after his procedure, and he's just loving okay, life. Okay, good. Do you have time for a couple more? One more. All right, so I've got to show you this picture. All right. So this is one of the kindest men that you can ever imagine. He's, uh, he rescues animals. He wants to be able to enjoy his family, make his daughter proud. He comes to us. We completely exceeded his expectations, completely. There's the after photo. Take a look at that picture. He's, he's a different man. He comes in. When we hand him the mirror at the end of the day, all he could say is, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> he just kept saying it and saying it. We really are short on time. We have probably time for one more. So this is a young woman, very young. There's no way that she can be going to a denture. So really this age, people are wearing dentures sometimes? Sometimes they are. Okay. Um, she came in because she still had some teeth, but she just, she didn't like them and she couldn't smile. She couldn't represent herself well. She wanted to be a good role model for her two children. Okay. She wanted to endorse her company. She wanted to be out there public speaking and sending a positive message. And with the teeth like that, she was missing some, she had some other challenges. She just chose not to smile. And All right. every time she was in front of people, she was not only thinking about the message she was trying to send, but also what they were thinking about her teeth. So that's huge, that holds people back. And by giving her back a smile. That's very nice. You know, now she's doing what she loves, right? She's out, she has the microphone in front of her. She's not thinking about her teeth, she's thinking about the message that she's sending. I've met her children after this. She's a good role model for those kids. She feels good about herself. And, and that's what it's about, changing lives. These impacts that we make are huge. Like I've said before, the impact that the patient makes on us is also huge. Nice. So, one more? All right, one more. All We've right. got about 30 seconds. Okay. Very nice. So, this patient comes to us. He had been thinking about doing this procedure for a long time. He had suffered with his teeth, broken teeth, periodontal disease, cavities. And him and his wife came to us knowing that there was a better solution. I know we're short on time. I'm going to oh show you goodness. the after. Yeah. Well, we, he's got to be thrilled about that. Completely. And these are all teeth that don't come in and out, right? They're not snap in, snap out. No. Everything is fixed in their mouth. This gentleman, we give him the mirror. He says, I'm blessed. He explained Good. to me everything in his life changed. The way that he looks at his food, the way that he... Uh, he was one of the patients that said, I'm just going to smile at my food. You know, <laughs> everything about okay. him has changed. His whole, his whole personality that I have seen from walking into the office to walking out is different. Okay? Uh, it's, it's fantastic. We are out of time. Uh, you know, but what crosses my mind is that I know a couple of denture wearers. Okay. And they never complain. 
Okay. Are you saying that there's no such thing as a happy denture wear? Well, they're not complaining to you. You're not a dentist. Okay, so, good so, point. All right. So I hear it all the time. And one, one thing that I'm thinking of right now is a patient once told me, and this was so powerful. She says, every time I wake up, I look at my denture and I start the process. I put the glue in. I put the adhesive. I get it adjusted just right. She said, that's when I know it's going to be a bad day. Wow. And I was so taken aback by what she had said, probably a dumb question. I said, why? You know, what, what do you mean? And she walked me through the whole process of how she goes to work. She has to avoid certain people because she's uncomfortable. She is asked to go to lunch and she's uncomfortable. Like her embarrassed of her denture. Exactly. Okay. So she'll go to lunch, either she'll completely avoid it, going with other people, or sometimes she'll have to go, but she'll have to order certain things off the menu and then go to the bathroom. And once you get to the bathroom, you can't just go to the sink, you have to go into the stall. And, and she was completely devastated by this. And she also told me, she said, so either I wear it and it's gonna be a bad day. And she said, the other option is I sneak away when I'm by myself and I take it out, right? And we're talking in the consultation and she has it out of her mouth. She puts it in a little plastic jar. Okay, she puts it in her purse and she says, now it's out of my mouth. I'm sneaking around, hoping I don't run into anybody. And it's a constant reminder because I hear it jiggling in my bag. Every time she hears that sound in her bag, she feels a sense of guilt that, you know, she got to this situation in her life. So when you hear this on the consult, in your mind, are you going, boy, this is going to be good? I'm thinking, I know what's going to happen to you. And that's exactly what happened to her. We recently saw her. Again, about six months after, she stops in the office. So she has permanent teeth now. She has permanent teeth. She went through the process, excellent result, loved what happened. I haven't seen her, though, in a while. And I say, how was your summer? Wonderful. I say, what, what was so wonderful? Maybe, again, another dumb question. What's yeah. so wonderful? And she says, every day I wake up and look in the mirror, I know it's going to be a great day. That's nice. And I just stopped there because I knew what had happened to her. And it... it it's just so special. It's good. Well, good for you. Look, we're out of time. I want to thank you for coming on the show. So if somebody wants to get started, they call your, your center. They get sure. to meet with you. Every patient. You meet, okay. Every single person. And, uh, and, and on the day of the procedure, they can walk out with teeth and they can eat and yes. chew and, and yes. do whatever. So I want to thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. Thank you, Randy. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.